Hi, it's Michal Wojtas. Today I would like to tell you a bit more about my studio and production work for other artists and clients I work with. Uh, I often work for m music artists. Uh, it's mainly pop music and rock and everything in between. But I also work uh, with uh, artists from other arts and other countries. Uh, for example, contemporary dance uh, choreographers and dancers. And I would like to tell you about this work today. I remember when music from my album, uh, Amaro Hunt, was used in James Wilton's uh, performance called Hold On. James Wilton is a very popular and internationally well-known British choreographer. I was at the premiere of the show uh, at uh, German Theatre of Münster at the time. I felt for the first time how strongly my music affected me as an audience in a dance performance. I felt it in other people as well. Um, it was much more than listening to the music and watching dance. It was a multi-sensory event. I thought I wanted to write music for, especially for, uh, for specific performances. Some time later, I had the honor and pleasure to uh, work on a big show called The Storm, uh, for which I wrote the music. Because we were working from a distance, I was given a lot of uh, rehearsal videos uh, of the dancers. Uh, it allowed me to create right sounds, uh, which were then sent uh, to the rehearsal rooms, uh, so that both the choreography and the music uh, could be uh, further modified and developed. Of course, sometimes not everything can be done remotely. Uh, I remember when I went to the rehearsals with the dancers uh, in Brighton, in England, uh, the choreographer wanted me to adapt uh, specific sounds uh, to the movements of the dancer uh, as she performed them. This was Sarah Jane Taylor, an extremely talented artist. Um, the whole show, from start to finish, has its original soundtrack, um, which has been released as the Amarok album uh, called The Storm, uh, which is available digitally and physically as well. The premiere at the place in London uh, was a huge event for me. Uh, it's not just a dance, it's not just a music, it is very meaningful content, a uh, message in the form of multidimensionality. I also remember a very interesting experience uh, when my band and I uh, played live with uh, dancers improvising to music. It was, uh, it was at the it was at the Tanz East Festival in Dorbin, Austria. Uh, the event was completely sold out and many people couldn't get to the event uh, anymore, but the audience uh, at the same point joined the dancers and band, uh, creating one big live performance. Apart from the big shows, there are also uh, smaller forms, such as the excellent duet uh, called I Robot by James Wilton, uh, for which I created uh, the soundtrack, which is available uh, digitally, uh, by the way. The mood of the music here is uh, in a way reminiscent of Hollywood science fiction films. I love to create music for such extraordinary events. The creative process itself is also unique because um, it's not copying uh, pop hits from the top 10 charts 
but I start with blank page and uh, I never know where it will take me. I can afford to experiment a lot to get something new. Yeah, and that is fascinating and inspiring. In my music I'm interested in depth, mood, emotion, uh, so that the audience can better feel and understand uh, the content of the choreographer uh, or director. A theatre performance, uh, contemporary dance or traditional theatre or films with uh, specially composed music is always a complete event, uh, what makes it special and unique. This is the work that I love. Thank you very much and see you next time. Hey.